this is the final part of the process to make Honorable Ajari legitimate. And that is the story in process. So, Mr. Ajari, where you see the dot, you put your name, and then the second dot, you put your office. So, when I say I, then you put your name. So, we start with the oath of office, the oath of secrecy, and then the oath of allegiance. Hello, hello, yeah. So, I do in the name of the Almighty God, do in the name of Almighty God swear that I will at all times, that I will at all times, well and truly serve, well and truly serve the Republic of Ghana, the Republic of Ghana, in the office of the, in the office of Ahanta West Municipal Assembly Chief Executive, and that and that I will uphold, I will uphold, preserve, preserve, protect, protect, and defend, and the, defend the constitution of the Republic of Ghana, of the Republic of Ghana, as by law established, as by law established. So help me God. So help me God. The second one is the oath of secrecy. So as we did for the first one, I. I, John Ajari, holding the office of holding the office of the chief executive, the chief executive of Ahanta West Municipal, of Ahanta West Municipal, do in the name of the Almighty God, do in the name of the Almighty God, swear, swear that that I will not, I will not directly, directly or indirectly, or indirectly communicate, communicate or reveal, or reveal to any person, to any person, any matter, any matter which shall be brought under my consideration, which shall be brought under my consideration, or shall come to my knowledge, or shall come to my knowledge in the discharge, in of the discharge my, of my official duties, of my official duties, except, except, or, or as may be, as may be specifically, specifically permitted by law, permitted by law. So help me God. So help me God. So it's left with the last one. I, I, John Ajari, do in the name of the Almighty God swear. Do in the name of the Almighty God swear that that I will bear through faith. That I will bear through faith and allegiance and allegiance to the Republic of Ghana. To the Republic of Ghana as by law established. As by law established. That I will uphold. That I will uphold the sovereignty. The sovereignty and integrity of and Ghana. Integrity of Ghana. And that and that I will preserve. I will preserve. Protect. Protect. And defend the constitution. And defend the constitution of the Republic of Ghana. Of the Republic of Ghana. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Ajari. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Honorable Presiding Member. Honorable Minister for Chieftaincy and Religious Affairs. And Member of Parliament for Ahanta West. Honorable Lawyer Fantastic Ebenezer Kudukum. Honorable Western Regional Minister, Dr. Honorable Kobi Ochiri Daku Mesa, Mr. Dofuyana, former DCE, Dr. Jones, Eko Jones, uh, Dr. Jones Amua, a former DCE, Regional Chairman, Mr. Indidisia, the Game Changer, and Regional Executives. Here, my chairman, Mr. Nkatia Kofi, and then the constituency executives present. Honorable assembly members, Nananum immediate, Nananum friends of the media, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, the president, His Excellency, Nana Adedankwa Akufado, on 19th September. 2020 through the minister of local government decentralization and rural development honorable dan kwekubuchi among many who were equally qualified to be appointed to the office of mce found me and nominated me as a municipal chief executive of ahanta west municipality for this great honor than me i want to say a big thank you to His Excellency the President, to my MP Honorable Ebenezer Kujokum, to the Regional Minister, the Regional Chairman, and the Regional Executives,
constituency chairman and constituency executive. I can't but express my sincere appreciation to you, the honorable assembly members, for your show of support and confidence in the president's choice. And for that matter, my very self. Today is the day the Lord has made it. We must rejoice and be glad in it. This gathering has been conveyed within a short time. And even that, we have all made it to attend. I'm particularly glad because we have assembled here from our various homes and communities to show our patriotic and committed we, the people of Ahanta West, are. And our unfailing support to uphold the tenet of decentralization and local governance. Honorable Presiding Member, a few minutes ago, I was officially confirmed by the returning officer as the Municipal Chief Executive of Ahanta West with a massive vote, that is 100% vote, in my favor. Honorable members, the mandate and trust reposed in me by the President of the Republic of Ghana, you have also made me proud. Thank you very much. I have taken the oaths. I have taken the oaths, and I know and I now stand before you as the new Municipal Chief Executive for Ahanta West Municipal Assembly. I am grateful for this honor and promise not to let you, the good people of Ahanta West, down. I thank the chiefs of this land, the leadership, members of the new patriotic party for your support. I also thank my beautiful wife, Mavis, my three children, my family and friends, for standing by me throughout this journey. I am grateful to the hard-working member of parliament, Honorable Mr. Kujokun, for his support for our constituency and municipality. On behalf of the people of Ahanta West, I want to sincerely thank the immediate past Ahanta West Municipal Chief Executive, that is Honorable Mary Herita Aishin, for his service, for her service to our municipality. I wish her well in her future endeavor, even though she's not around. I believe that the business of every MC, that is Municipal Chief Executive, is to share the effective participation of citizenry at the grassroots in governance and bring the gap between the central government and the people of the municipal level in terms of provisions of social amenities for social economic development and improving livelihood of the people. I will work with stakeholders to protect the sanity of our environment and restore the deteriorating state of our environment. I will build upon the foundation and the legacy that have been laid already. I look forward to tapping wisdom from my predecessors in order to drive the development agenda of Ahanta West successfully. Ahanta West will be great in terms of social amenities and resources for social economic development of I will work assiduously to improve the quality of life of the youth and people in the municipality by effectively mobilizing our human and material resources with our development partners for social economic growth. In doing this, I will be guided by the vision and the mission statement which serve as a foundational block of our municipality. Indeed, the journey will not be easy one. Yes, I know. But I still accept this challenge. Past municipal and, this and, and district chief executives did not have it easy either, but they sail through. Their story will motivate me through the highs and many lows that may come by my way, and nothing will stop me from delivering on my mandate. One thing that can stop me from one thing that can stop, stop me apart from God is when you stop believing in me and relinquish your support and prayers for me. This is my ultimate pledge to all of you. Honorable presiding member, 
all protocol observed. Finally, I want to assure the House that I will be transparent and accountable to the municipality. I will walk my talk. I want to happily say with pride that I have also been an MCE who have served the people of Ahanta West. Honorable presiding member, honorable ministers gathering here, Nananum, and all friends, ladies and gentlemen, may God bless Ahanta West municipality and make her great and strong. May God bless our homeland Ghana and may God bless us all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.